You are watching the Dog Talk Show. Welcome back to the Dog Talk. We are taking you through the interesting uh, discussion today on nosebleeds. And as highlighted in the previous discussion, nosebleeds is a common phenomenon that occurs in the general population. About 60% of people will experience a nosebleed in their lifetime. I'll turn to uh, our panelists, Dr. Omar and Dr. Etima. Uh, my question to you is, what brings about a nose bleed? Like we earlier said, it can be something within the nose mm -hmm. or something out of the nose. Mm -hmm. Among the things within the nose, mm -hmm. we'll start with trauma or injuries. Injuries to the nose. We talked about the, the habit of picking the nose. Picking the nose is actually, can be traumatizing or can cause injuries to the nose. The nose is an area that has very many small blood vessels mm. and the habit of picking the nose is one of the most common causes of the nose bleeds. Mm. Uh, also among injuries, Dr. Umar talked about the, the sports, mm. the sport activities like rugby, football, yeah. boxing, uh -huh. uh, where the nose is actually one of the most traumatized mm. organs in the body. Yeah, so, mm. it, it's, so it's pretty much uh, whether the injury is on the nose or within the nose. So we talk about nose picking, we are picking from within the nose. From within the we, nose. We talk about sports injuries that may be blunt or penetrating. We talk about injuries that are on the nose, but somehow their impact comes inside the nose. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, the recent uh, things that we keep seeing uh, in our everyday life mm -hmm. is assault. Very true. Whether it is assault. whether it is family assault from within, uh, what you call uh, domestic, domestic violence, violence okay. or you you you're driving your car and you you, you practically at, at home, not in the home but at home, and then you 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 get ambushed by hooligans and they assault you, they beat you up. Mm. Either you break mm. your nose mm. and start bleeding, or they just injure the nose and you start bleeding still. still getting 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 mean like getting punched yes. sort yes. of in the nose. <laughs> that kind so that external blow. All right. So uh, maybe just to reflect back on the part of the nose picking, you mentioned small blood vessels. Yes. There, uh, is it that the how do you call it the skin inside the nose? Would you call it like very fragile? Why is it nose picking? So you particularly think that the nose is an organ that bleed. whose whose duties um, involve letting air into the body, mm -hmm. and these blood vessels have a function. Mm. They help with warming up the air mm. and uh, because if you breathed in air that's so cold it mm. would have effects on your body but um there is a very rich supply of blood in the nose yes. that helps with warming up the air okay and it's located at the front of the nose mm. what we right. call the anterior part of mm. the nose mm -hmm. in the middle mm -hmm. so what happens is these vessels being at the front of the nose are at an area where they can easily be reached by your finger or by the external force okay. or this injury or the hooligans or even something as as simple as bad as a traffic accident mm. can also cause trauma to that um, the vessels in your nose yeah. okay so, so like it seems to Angelica said, yes the trauma they they are a cluster of blood vessels small enough very thin mm. and they are covered by a very thin like uh, substance we call it mucosa but it's very thin it's is it easily breaks and you can easily break the blood vessels okay. so there's one uh, 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 congregation if you like mm. of, of vessels at the front mm. and another at the behind now the one at the front is uh, commonly bleeds secondary to trauma and all those kind of things mm. that are physical the now, things within the nose generally. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, the one at the back, there is another one, a congregation of blood vessels. That, you mean that is deeper into deeper the nose? more posterior, I would say. Yes. So, that one uh, is more uh, a show of systemic or what you'd call things within the body, are the things within the body okay. that would be represented in that part, usually at the back of the nose. And that's when you get So, to help us understand, you're saying the nose, mm -hmm. basically there's the front part, which is the anterior portion, mm -hmm. then there's the deeper part, which is the posterior. So the anterior has the blood vessels which are very close to the skin mm -hmm. and are liable to injuries, mm -hmm. while the posterior, which are much deeper, if a bleed occurs there, mm -hmm. 
may not be due to trauma, but may be due to another illness occurring yeah. in the body. Okay, yeah, thank you for uh, elaborating on that point. So are there any other, apart from the nose, speak and trauma? Yes, what still within would, the would, nose, would, yes. there is um, what we call foreign bodies. This one happens mainly in children. They have the habit of inserting things into the nose. Mm -hmm. So these can be things that are sharp. I remember during our practice in Mulago, we had a child who was referred all the way from Okonji with a safety pin in the nose. Oh, so, okay. of course, this child was brought bleeding. So, foreign bodies are a common cause mm. of bleeding from the nose. Um, it can be something that may not be sharp but is dangerous, something like a battery. Mm -hmm. And you know, our children's toys have almost all of them come with the, yeah. the small button batteries. So, these are other causes. Of to exactly, the, more on that yes. Still, um, even a simple thing as, uh, as sponge. Eh? Sure. Children put sponge in their nose. Mm -hmm. They keep they keep picking it off. That's why we advise mothers all the time and, and, and parents alike everywhere that the mattresses should be all covered. Otherwise, kids find a way of pulling off the bits of sponges mm -hmm. and they put them in the nose. Now, either at the inception where they are putting them on or mm -hmm. at the removal of that foreign body, mm -hmm. you would get... Uh, yeah, a, that's when the injury they, occurs. They some, yeah, and cause... sometimes um, uh, aside of foreign bodies, you would have infections that are local. Okay? Okay. Infections are there are some local. common yeah. infections you know of? They usually reactions mostly, like uh, allergies, for example. Okay. If you keep sneezing on things, mm. somehow... Every time you sneeze, you 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 dilate. Okay? You make the blood vessels swell become up, bigger. become bigger, and that uh, the pressure there increases. Mm -hmm. And now, when the pressure increases in those already dilated blood vessels, you would expect a burst. So usually, someone would tell you, "I was sneezing," and then and, and then, then you I started bled. bleeding. Even okay, something so as common as um, the common cold, mm -hmm. the common cold or the flu. flu. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, sometimes um, a patient will come to you and they're like, I got a flu. It may start as just a stain of mu blood in the mucus. Mm -hmm. But if this flu mucus, mm -hmm. but if they're saying, if the patient is constantly blowing their nose mm -hmm. to try and clear out this mucus, these vessels that we've talked about can easily be injured and it can cause them to have flu. Hmm. Another common thing that we are seeing in our, in our setting is the abuse of drugs, illicit okay. drug it, use. Is it very common in our setting? Yes, it is very true because, you see, <coughs> drugs can act within the nose. Okay. You, we've seen on movies, but also now in our setting, the hmm. sniffing of cocaine, cocaine. And local, right. can affect those blood vessels within the nose. Uh, something maybe more common, nicotine, Mm -hmm. the smoking of nicotine can also affect the blood vessels within the nose mm. and can make a patient have a risk of getting a bleed. Yes, the, That's other, very thing interesting. Would, okay. the other thing you would uh, think about is aviation fuel. You yes, know? Mm -hmm. uh, and we've read lots of stories about yeah. some, the youth who sniff aviation fuel. So the mechanism of action here is the same. Mm. When you're sneezing, you're sniffing, mm. you're actually increasing pressure within the nose, you're increasing pressure of the blood vessels, and then you create an uh, avenue for a bleed, yeah, you know? So oh, aviation fuel, cocaine, uh, uh, nicotine, nicotine. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this business of shisha, okay, because there's shisha. nicotine in okay. it as well, as, many, as, as, long as, as well as other things, you see? So yeah. the drugs sort of, um, you would say they irritate the inner yes, lining exactly. of the nose, they'll and that. they'll cause the vessels to break. And they can also the have break. an effect of drying up, mm -hmm. excessively drying up the okay. nose. Okay. Because you see our noses naturally have the mucus, mm -hmm. but these drugs will dry up excessively, and, and they can they cause expo exposure mm -hmm. of the vessels that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, wonderful. So it's very important to note that uh, if you uh, are a smoker bit. or if you sniff drugs or uh, sniffing aviation fuel, as Dr. Omar highlighted, mm -hmm. you might be at risk of epistaxis or a nosebleed because these drugs, uh, these chemicals, irritate mm -hmm. the inner lining of the nose, so mm -hmm. it can predispose you to. So after the commercial break, we'll come back and talk more on what other factors would cause bleeding, factors that occur outside, outside the, nose, the nose, but can also present as a nosebleed. Mm -hmm. And our guests will take us through the management, what you can do at home, if you experience this event of a nosebleed, if it's very serious, what can you do at home? The first aid which you would give to a person
who gets the nose bleed. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we'll be back. You are watching the Dog Talk Show.